In the beginning of your fertility journey, you might get bombarded and confused with the jargon of fertility terms. You might wonder what do terms like AMH, IUI, IVF or even blastocyst mean. I have got you covered. Today we are diving into 30 commonly used fertility terms explained in a simple, fast and fun way. Whether you are on this journey or just curious, this video will help you feel informed and empowered. So let's begin with a rapid fire round and break down the mystery behind fertility treatments. So hello everyone, I'm Dr. Anjali Kumar from Maitri, welcoming you once again to our fertility series. Maitri is a space where we talk anything and everything about women's health. Follicles, small sacs in your ovaries that hold immature or budding eggs. Antral follicle count, an ultrasound scan to count the number of follicles visible in your ovaries, helping us assess your fertility potential. Ovulation, when an egg is released from the ovary, it's the prime time for conception. Follicular phase, the first half of your menstrual cycle when follicles in the ovary grow and one of them finally becomes dominant to finally release the egg. Luteal phase, the time after ovulation when the uterus prepares for implantation. AMH, anti ovarian hormone. This hormone tells us about your ovarian reserve, the number and the quality of eggs both. FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. This hormone helps the follicles to grow. High levels can indicate lower egg reserve. Luteinizing hormone surge, LH surge. The sudden rise in LH hormone mid-cycle. This rise triggers the ovulation and is detected in the ovulation predictor kits. Progesterone. This hormone supports the uterine lining after ovulation, which is essential for implantation. TSH. Thyroid stimulating hormone. Thyroid health is critical for fertility. High or low TSH can affect the ovulation and pregnancy outcomes. Estradiol E2, it's a form of estrogen monitored during ovarian stimulation to track the follicles growth. Ovulation window, the few days in your cycle when you are most fertile, that's the key for the natural conception. IUI, intrauterine insemination. So in this technique, sperms are washed and placed directly into the uterus during ovulation to increase chances of pregnancy. IVF, in vitro fertilization. So eggs are retrieved from the ovaries, fertilized with sperms in a lab, and the fertilized egg or embryo is now transferred back to the uterus. ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection. A single sperm is injected into the egg during IVF. It is useful for severe male infertility. Ovarian stimulation using medications to encourage multiple eggs to mature for IVF or IUI. HSG, histrosalpingogram, a special X-ray to check if your fallopian tubes are open and the uterus is healthy. Hystroscopy, a procedure to examine and treat problems in the uterus with a telescope. Sonohistrogram, SIS, an ultrasound with saline to get a clear view of the uterine cavity. Surrogacy, when another person carries a pregnancy for you using your or donor eggs and sperm. Zona pellucida, the protective outer shell of the egg that sperm must penetrate to fertilize it. Assisted hatching, a technique used in IVF where the embryo's outer layer is gently open to help implantation. Embryo grading, a system to assess embryo quality before transfer. Better grades mean better chances of success. Zygote, a fertilized egg before it starts to divide into multiple cells. Morula, an embryo which develops into a ball of cells. Blastocyst, the morula now develops a fluid-filled cavity and becomes a blastocyst. Cryopreservation, the process of freezing eggs, sperms or embryos for future use. Day 3 versus Day 5 transfer. 
embryos can be transferred on day 3 or day 5 which is the blastocyst stage. So day 5 transfers by and large often have better success rates. FET frozen embryo transfer. So transferring a previously frozen embryo to the uterus during a later cycle. Wow, that was some grand tour of fertility terms. It's still a very small part of the fertility glossary. But I know it's a lot to take in. But I hope this helped demystify some of the jargon for you. Remember, knowledge is your best tool on this journey. If you still have questions, drop them in the comments below and I would love to hear from you. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button for more fertility insights. Together, we can make this journey a little easier step by step. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.